Welcome to the Jim Show with your host, Jim. So I've been listening to this particular video by a channeled entity, Cryon. And he talks about intuition during this. So I wanted to talk some about intuition because last night I experienced exactly the thing that he talks about. And I'll link the particular video. It is mind-blowing. It's awesome. But what he basically talks about is how intuition is not like the things that we're used to in this three-dimensional world. In that, it is a flash of inspiration, basically. It hits you for a moment, you have a feeling, and then it, it's gone, it dissipates. It doesn't stick around and prove that it's true, that you should follow it, right? And I've talked about this before. I've talked about how when you have clarity, intuition, same thing, you need to write down those things that you realize you need to do. Because later, like this morning, for me, they don't feel as strong. They don't, you don't have that same feeling, right? It's momentary. You, you were given some information about what you need to do, and then pff, it's gone. If you don't write it down, you really won't remember it. So you gotta, you gotta write it down in the moment. So it was probably 2 a.m. last night. I'm listening to the video. I'm having some inspiration, right? Some intuition, I mean, um, come into me. And so I just stop it. I turn on the light, I grab a notebook, and I write down a couple things. And some of these things are related to what I was wrote about um, in the last po the blog post about getting rid of stuff. So there's some things that I can give to some people and sell to some people um, in particular. Some stuff that's been floating around, some ideas that have been around for you know a while now. I'm like, yeah, that's this is exactly what I need to do. Some other ones was, was talking to the guy that's providing, um, we're part of a CSA where you get food from a farmer. And I was like, you know, I wanna to talk to him and switch out some of the stuff. Like, and this isn't like huge groundbreaking things, but they're just these little things that are gonna improve, you know, your path. They're little things you need to do, little steps you need to take, right? They don't have to be some miraculous thing. Like I had, I had, um, that feeling about the Yaz app, like starting it and having some discussions and that happened. And that was big, right? That was a big piece of clarity that I needed to, at the moment, move forward with that, share it with some people and kind of see what happened. Um, but they're not always big things like that, right? It's like, hey, just send this guy a message that, that says you want to get more collard greens in your, <laughs> in your delivery, right? But if you don't write it down, like now I'm like, meh. But I know that doing that is gonna be great for me. It's gonna bring me abundance of things that I want in my life if I reach out to this guy and change up the food that I'm gonna get. And it may not seem like a big deal, right? But it's every little thing that you do adds up to make your life amazing, to make all the things that you want, right, come to you. So that that is my tidbit about, about intuition and clarity for today, is write it down. And then go back to it and take action on it, even though it doesn't feel as inspired the next morning or the next day or a week later, right? And at some point, you will have done as much of that thing as you need to do, and maybe that is hard for me to see. So like with the Yaz app right now, I had this clarity to move forward with it, and that went away because it does. But I've also felt like I've gone far enough that I would need another another hit from my guides, from my higher self, to say, hey, okay, it's time for the, another step with that. If that makes sense. And I think that that is an area that can be hard. If it's not a very clear one-step thing, like these other things that I'm talking about this morning, these are all do this one, take this one step, and it pretty much takes care of that bit of clarity that I was supposed to do. But with bigger projects, right, I think you you take steps based on when clarity occurs, if that makes sense. So the first step was share the Yaz app idea, you know, publicly talk to a few people about it, find find a developer, and then that, that was it. That was the first step. That's what I had clarity about, I did that. And so now I'm just, I'm having patience regarding that particular area of my life, that particular project, and another 
bit of intuition and clarity I'm sure will come regarding it or about something else, right? Maybe that's, maybe that was it. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that this morning. I'm going to, I recommend taking a look at that video very, very highly. It totally was the right thing at the right time for me, opened all kinds of doors. The, um, the intuition part was nice and then, then I had it, you know, at the time. So that was really cool to see. Check that out. Write down your clarity. Even if it happens in the middle of the night, write it down so that you can reference it later. See you tomorrow.